I cannot separate my arms and I hardly can go up and down. Okay? So when you do it, you're going to do this accompanied with the knee drop. We just learned that. Place your hand behind. We just learned that. And the other hand's going to do this. Guess what? We just learned that. Okay, and you do the same thing. Okay, now, you don't lean down because at some point I can't handle it, it's just too strong. But that's strong, right? Is that fair? Okay. Did I block it? Yep. You can tell, can't you? Yep. It's not, I'm not phoning it up. Okay? It is powerful because of the three dimensions. You're using a screw, you're using an in and out, and you're using a rotation, a uh, screw to lift, in and out, and a rotation. You got it? But if we're doing Ike, and this is why I picked Mark, if we're doing Ike, I don't want a definite blow. Because if I do this, I, I have to chase the hand that I want to use. So if I'm doing something of that nature, it doesn't have to be the same block. Obviously, it's Ike, so it's not an upper block. I still want to use multiple dimensions. So let's say we're doing Yoko Minuchi. And I go like this. That's one dimension, folds into the second dimension, but it was one dimension at a time. Okay? It's doable. Okay. Fair? I didn't have to move because I'm doing three dimensions at once. If you're going to choke me, just don't choke enough so I can't talk, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to vomit in his face, and usually that will be <laughs> my <laughs> So now, if you could just go tight without killing me so I can talk a little bit, tight, tight, tight. No good, right? So now you can go strong and choke me if you want. Now, you, the easiest way to think that is, oh, you're distracting him. Yeah, but Jeff now knows I'm going to distract him, right? So he shouldn't be distracted. Choke me. can also do this. So he's got my arm. I'll let him have my arm against my body. But he doesn't have my hips. Okay. Now, Aikido, correct me if I'm wrong, tends to do this, but they tend to do it with a step and a turn. Fair? Nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly fine. Works good. But you don't have to. If you relax your weight down, and just push this hip back and this knee in. So it would be this hip back, this knee in, right? For most people, that's all you need. Now look, if the guy's a bear or he's got a big stance, you probably will need the step because he's wider and stronger. Should I still wipe? No, nope, you stand normally. Be strong in the hole. Okay? All right. Let's say I'm doing coping there, is that So, one, two, three, cut down. I go like this, and I make him move, right? Well, to some degree, I maintain the center. To some degree, I moved. Guess who maintained the center? Now that's exaggerated. You don't have to make it that extreme. Okay, but 
There's no argument about did I maintain the center. Know how to um, draw. We had a, a seminar that had to do with drawing him. Float like a butterfly. Float the opponent like a butterfly. I maintain the center. 